When we die, our soul departs from our body. And the soul goes on a journey. And that is when the soul descends into the grave to be reunited with our bodies. And when the soul is coming down, it witnesses the janazah, the funeral. And your body is laying there on the ground, wrapped up, getting ready to be buried. And you're descending and you're seeing this and you're hearing it, you're experiencing it. And when the people then take your body and place it in the grave, your soul descends in there, into the grave, to be reunited with your body. And then your loved ones, your friends who were there at your janazah, they will start shoveling dirt, start picking up dirt with their hands and placing it in the grave, throwing it on top of you. And you will feel it fall on top of you. And they will do this until you are completely covered up. And you will be there in the grave, covered up. And you will have consciousness. You will be alive. Not physically, obviously, but your soul will experience this. They'll walk away, they'll leave. And you will hear their footsteps as the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said that you will hear their footsteps as they walk away. And you will be there alone in the grave by yourself, darkness, silence. What happens at that point? Two angels come to you, Munkar and Nakir, and they ask you three questions. Perhaps the most important questions you will ever be asked and the three most important questions you will ever answer. And those questions are, what is your deen? Who is your prophet? And who is your Lord? And if you answer these questions correctly, all three of them, your stay in the grave will be one of peace. You'll have peace, you'll have pleasure. Until the day of judgment, when the horn is sounded, and you are raised up out of your grave. But if you don't answer these questions correctly, all three of them, your stay in the grave will be full of pain. So we must answer these questions correctly. But here's the problem. A lot of us say to ourselves at this point, I'm good because I'm a Muslim and I know the answers to these questions and I'll answer them correctly. This is a problem because the answers are not given, as many of the scholars say. The answer is not given with your tongue. The answer is not given with your brain. The answer is given with your heart. What is in your heart will come out at that moment. If you lived your life not really striving to be a Muslim, a true Muslim, trying to practice, then Islam really was not in your heart. So we have to make sure that we're striving, again, to the best of our ability. I'm not asking for perfection. I'm not asking for scholars. I'm not asking for you to be of the best character like the Prophet, peace be upon him, but we must strive for it. So that on that day, when these angels come to us and they ask us these questions, what is in our heart will naturally come forward. The answers, the correct answers will come forth. After that, we pass the test of these three questions. What happened? an order from Allah with five glad tidings. First, the grave will be furnished from Jannah. The second thing will happen, the person will be clothed from the cloth of Jannah. All these are told to us by Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and they have authentic hadith to support them. And then the person in the grave a gate of Jannah will be opened for him or her and its breeze will come to him or her and he smells its fragrance and he feels the delight. A fourth, the grave will be made spacious as far as the eye can see. The life of the barzakh, the life of the grave is completely different than this life. Allah will make the grave very spacious and fifth, he will be given the glad tidings of Allah's pleasure and Jannah, Allahu Akbar. Then a man with a beautiful face, beautiful garment and sweet odor comes and the person in the grave said, who are you? You are, you look so good. You have such a beautiful smell. Who are you? Your face is perfectly beautiful. Then the person would reply, I am your good deeds. 
I am that salat that you prayed. I am that sadaqat that you gave. I am the Quran that you read and you memorized. I am the fasting. I am the struggle that you went through. I am the two rak'ah that you prayed in the middle of the night. I am, I am all the great aman. A man with a good face that will be our companion till the day of judgment. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. فَوَرَبِّكَ لَنَسْأَلَنَّهُمْ أَجْمَعِينَ عَمَّا كَانُوا يَعْمَلُونَ Ya Allah, Ya Allah, Allah Azza wa Jal is swearing by himself. فَوَرَبِّكَ What is he saying? I will ask them 100%. I will question everyone about what they used to do. We will be questioned about everything. Everything.